communities, people in impoverished communities, you know, where we've been put in a position where we basically oppress ourselves and there's institutionalized racism and classism that has kept us from the freedoms that every other American on this earth, you know, or every other American in this country takes, takes uh, for granted. So how does the aristocracy or how, does, how, do, how do the powers that be keep us in the inner city community away from our own rights as human beings? Firstly is ignorance. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a constant, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a serious believer of if you don't know your rights, you don't have any rights. You know, and that's something that everybody should consider. If you, have, if you, don't, if you ain't aware of your laws as, a, as an American citizen, if you're not aware of your rights as an individual who lives in this country, you don't have any rights. You know, and this is how they take advantage of you firstly. Secondly is to institutionalize you. It's basically to make you criminals from an early age. Poverty breeds crime. So when you live in these environments where you don't have anything, you know, you can be easily led astray to do crimes, which makes you a felon, which makes you, by, by the laws that they have in place, it makes it illegal for you to have, have a weapon. So you cannot take part, of your second, take part in your Second Amendment right as an American if you have a, a criminal record. So they criminalize you first to keep that right away from you. So that's why I suggest to anybody who would like to purchase a weapon legally, to find a legal challenge to do so and, and, and to do it in a legal challenge with full transparency so that there's no problem, so that we don't get these constant stories and the headlines about rappers or anybody else getting caught up on gun charges. You know what I'm saying? And let's be responsible and let's not buy guns just to be cool and let's not buy guns just to show off. You know, if there's a specific purpose for it, so be it. You know, if you just want to take care, you know, take advantage of your Second Amendment right while it's here. So be it, you know, which leads me to my second point. We're in a climate right now where the moral high ground of the United States is consistently lowering due to, you know, accusations of torture across the globe, the war in Iraq, there are various other issues that are going on in the world that are making the United States as a whole lose the moral high ground. And there are people internally inside the United States who are speaking out against oppression, who are speaking out against the current administration, who's been one of the, you know, who, that's been one of the most secretive administrations that we've had on hand. So with that being said, they're criminalizing the right to free speech, they're criminalizing the right to protest. And with all these things going on, especially with the more recent event with uh, Pakistan going into martial law and being declared as an emergency state where they basically revoked the rights of the people and revoked the, you know, the laws that they had in place, you know, it, them being one of our allies and the current administration at the way that it is, there's no telling what could happen in the next six, seven months or, you know, within the next year before the new election start and we get a new president in power. So while these rules are in place and while we have these laws in place to take advantage of, I suggest anybody out there to take advantage of these laws, you know, because with the current climate, you never know when they can shut it down. You never know when they can end. You never know when any, all the rules can be thrown out the window. We can all be locked up for just basically taking, you know, taking advantage of our rights as Americans to speak out against oppression, to fight against oppression. You know, to organize in the militias that they talk about in the Second Amendment and, and, and you know, make sure that we can secure a free state. And people in the inner city communities are the people who have the most reason to organize, who have, you know, the, the most to gain from organizing in the militias. And the system has been set up for us to be criminalized so that we can't take advantage of that right. You know? The other point that I, I, I wanted to make is that in addition to just your gun laws and the Second Amendment, you got to think about the First Amendment, which, which is to peacefully assemble. You know, so for anybody looking to create social change in the community, you know, the, the, the last line of defense is violence. The last line of anything, you know, is, is to take it to the streets with the sword, or to take it to the streets with the gun. That's the last line of it all, because before we do that, before we uprise to that regard, we have to unlearn and, and rearrange our thinking as a people. So the first front in, in, in the war or in the battle to create social change in our communities is by speaking out about it. You know, the freedom of speech needs to be taken advantage of. The freedom to, to peacefully assemble. These are all your rights given to you under the First Amendment. And I think there needs to be more of an outcry and more of an organization as, 
getting in for anybody in any of these communities to gather and take advantage of these laws. You know? So, with all that being said, you know, I just, I just want to, again, reiterate the fact that I'm all for peace, but there can't be no peace without justice. If you don't know your rights, you have no rights. So, you know, know your enemy. Know your laws. I'm interested in hearing what y'all have to say. I'm interested in hearing your response. Hit me up. MySpace.com backslash Amazun. A-M-A-Z-E-U-N. Hit me up on 33 at AOL.com. Check me out on YouTube. You know? Let me hear what y'all have to say. Peace and blessings. Yeah. This is more what I like. I'ma zone out on this one. Trust me. Yeah. Tune into this as I flow new scriptures for those who live in Sin City with no Bruce Willis for those.